welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm kind of doing like a moving out essentials haul. Um, for those of you who don't know, I currently live in Brisbane with my parents and around February, March next year, I'm planning on moving to Melbourne. So big, big steps for me. I've never like lived anywhere but my house. So um, yeah, exciting, scary, but mainly excited. I just think it's time to kind of be responsible, you know. Um, but the reason I am moving to Melbourne is because I do musical theatre and if you follow me on Instagram you would know that lately I have been going to Melbourne so much for auditions and spending so much money on flights and accommodation and all that kind of stuff that it just makes so much sense to be in Melbourne. My agent is in Melbourne and just basically all my career options are in Melbourne or Sydney but Sydney's just like, I don't, not really the biggest fan of the vibe and it's way too expensive like Melbourne is affordable and Sydney's just like it's just crazy expensive I can't afford that that's just ridiculous um so yeah Melbourne is but I love Melbourne so much um being there like the last like I've been there like three times in the last couple months um and I just absolutely love it I love the vibe and it's very it's really similar to Brisbane I think like I don't feel um like out of place there I feel safe and everything i mean it is like quite similar to brisbane i think and it's not like i'm moving countries i'm just moving states so you know um but i will be moving with my boyfriend zayden he is coming with me so i'm really really blessed that i have a partner who is willing to come with me and kind of chase my career um with me as well so i'm super super grateful for that he is um, he does accounting and stuff like that, so he will easily find a job in Melbourne, like, no problem. But, yeah, I'm just glad that he wants to, you know, start our life together in Melbourne with me. So that's basically why I'm buying all these moving out essentials. We are planning to drive his car to Melbourne um, and just pack it full of our stuff. And then if it doesn't fit in the car, we don't bring it. So, yeah. But I didn't want to get to Melbourne and be like... I need like a spoon or like I need some a cup to drink out of or like I don't know like just like I need, I need like a towel so I can have a shower like we didn't want to go to Melbourne and then have absolutely nothing and then have to go or get it like in the one day we wanted to like see the sales on and see what like best deals were on for like little essentials like towels and cutlery and cups and all that kind of stuff so we wanted to just Get it out of the way and buy, start buying a couple things now. Not too many things because we are driving his car down. But yeah, let's just get started. I think I went to Kmart, Big W and maybe Target. But I, I can't remember what I bought from where. But I will let you guys know um, where I bought them and all that kind of stuff. Let's just get straight into the video. I think we'll see if we can start with stuff that I bought from Kmart. Um, but yeah, let's just get started. The first thing I'm going to show you because it's like right here and it's so big is this coat hanger set. I am like, I'm just like a tad OCD and in my wardrobe all my hangers are these felt hangers, what are they called? Uh, flocked hangers. So they have like, they're like velvety and they grip really really well. Um, so I said to Zayden that um, we had to, all his clothes had to go on the same coat hangers as I had just so they all look nice and pretty just you know not OCD at all clearly um, but yeah I just I really love these coat hangers and they just like hang stuff really nicely I don't know if that makes sense if you have these hangers you will know that these are the best hangers ever anyway this was a pack of 30 from Kmart and I think they were like $10 or something for a pack of 30 which is pretty decent I think um, but yeah, so that's the first thing that I got from Kmart. The next thing I got from Kmart is this little, like, measuring set. Um, I don't know. I think these were super, super cheap, like $3 or something like that. And it came with all the cups plus the little, like, spoony things as well. So I thought that was a pretty sweet deal, having, like, a whole entire set of them. And, you know, these are important for measuring stuff. So, yeah, we just got those. Then the next thing I got was tea towels and I just like liked the colors of these I really liked the nude colors and um, I'm not like the biggest fan of this one but you know um, a tea towel a tea towel does its job but these were like really thick I think this was eight dollars for a pack of four and all the other tea towels that we saw were super super thin and like you 
like they just were pointless. I'm like, why are you even a tea towel? Anyway, um, so these ones are actually like quite thick and like feel like nice and soft and um, yeah, I just really really like these ones and the colors. So that's why I got them. The next thing I got um, Essentials obviously you need wine glasses <laughs> um, But I just I really really loved the style of these we actually went to Big W first before going to Kmart and bought a couple of things from there and I bought similar ones from Big W but then Kmart ended up being cheaper so I returned those ones from Big W and got these ones I will open it up for you guys and show you what it looks like So this is the wine glass here. I just think this like shape is just super super like nice and cool and I just like I just really really love these ones and they feel like quite like thick and sturdy as well and I think this was like $10 or something for a pack of six. So yeah, I was pretty happy with that. I like my wine so we needed wine glasses. <laughs> um, we also got a uh, grater. I don't know. I'm I just think you need a grater. I mean, I use grater at home for grating things, you know? Um, and I don't think this was very expensive. I can't remember, probably like around $4 or something from Kmart, but you know, just an essential that you need in your kitchen. So that's what we got. I literally don't have an explanation for getting all of these apart from the fact that they're just essentials. So I'm like trying to justify why I'm buying all these things, but they're, they're essentials. That's why I'm buying them. <laughs> the next thing I got, I'm, I love this so much. Oh no, it ripped. Um, this one's like just for show and like um, cutting things on, but it also could be used as like um, like a, like a platter, like a cheese board kind of situation. You know, if like we have guests over, so I just thought this was really really nice, and I love um, how it's got like the different wood things. And I think this was like nine dollars or something from Kmart, so I was pretty happy with that. Okay, the next thing is this pack of like cooking utensils. So it comes with one, two, three. For five um, like cooking things, it comes with like a spatula, um, a, a spoon with holes in it, um, a normal spoon, like a soup spoon, and like one of those like claw like pasta ones. I don't know if you can like you can't really tell, but I think this was like four dollars or maybe even like three dollars for a pack of five. So I was like done um, because you could get like individual ones for like three dollars each, and I was just like surely we can um, get a better deal. And this was the last one here. I didn't even have like a tag or anything on it um and it was the last one that came out so i was like done let's get it okay the next thing is this sheet set um whoop, um just from kmart as well um we're not bringing we aren't bringing like a bed down or anything like that like the first thing we will buy in melbourne is like a really nice mattress um so yeah but i will we'll definitely be getting a queen size i just think um that we like don't really need a king um, so yeah, I got a queen size Australian grown cotton sheet set, 500 thread count, and I think this was like $56 or something like that, but you know, just plain white does its job and um, like it felt nice as well. And yeah, I like just how white it is. So that's that one. We have spent so much time looking at um, all the sheets at like Big W and Target and even Spotlight and everything like that. But I um, bought these ones as well because they were the cheapest. And um, yeah, I know I trust Kmart, you know. So um, yeah, but they, Big W did have really nice ones as well. So I was really tossing up whether to get the Big W ones or the Kmart ones. The next thing I got is a bag of pegs. Um, I think these were like $2 or something like that. And there's... 48 pegs in here. I really liked the colours, to be honest. Um, I liked the pink. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just thought this was like a good deal. You need pegs and they're pretty. Okay, so I think this is the last thing I got from Kmart and it is these bath towels. I just really liked the colour. I think these were like maybe $10 each or something like that. Um, but they just like I just love the color as well. Like I wanted a gray, but I didn't want it too light, too dark. And this is just like the perfect color. And they feel so soft and really, really good quality. So I was like really happy with that. I didn't expect them to feel this nice. Um, I thought like they'd just like feel like scrapey and like shit. But these feel really, really nice. And they're like a really like good size as well. So we got two of those and then a little um, hand towel. 
Um, I didn't really think we needed face towels, like I just think they're kind of pointless. Um, we didn't get the matching bath mat. I just think like I want like maybe a pop of color or even like the same gray but like a textured gray and they just had really really basic ones so that's fine. We'll get that later. Um, I think I'm going to Ikea maybe on Friday because um, it's Black Friday sales at Ikea so I might go check out Ikea because we still want to buy like pillows and like an actual quilt. Not like the quilt cover but like the actual quilt itself. We need to buy one of those. And, um, yeah, maybe they might have some nice bath mats and stuff like that there. So, I'll let you guys know. I might have to do, like, if I do end up buying more stuff from, like, Ikea and, like, I don't know, other places. Um, if you do like these types of hauls, please let me know and I can do another one. I will definitely be vlogging the whole moving experience. So, if you want more videos tailored towards moving and all that kind of stuff leave a comment down below on what types of videos you would like me to do um in preparation for me moving and yeah because i'm sure some of you will find this helpful if you have never moved out of home as well we can go on this new adventure together because you know it's a big move it's a big thing um but i just i really really love like buying home decor like home stuff like i just i really i get a thrill from buying bath towels and like cutlery and stuff like that I just love it so much but that's probably just because I'm excited to move out and you know start my life being a responsible adult so yes but anyway moving on I think that was the last thing I got from Kmart oh before I move on to the stuff I got from Target and Big W mum actually gave me these she had two of each of them so she gave me these and they're just like a wooden spoon and a wooden like scrapey thing and I don't know I we use these a lot in my house, so she gave me these two as well, which was super, super nice. This is what I got from Big W. I got, like, a cutlery set, and I think this was, like, $6 or, like, maybe even less, but a super basic cutlery set. Um, we still have to get, like, sharp knives. Uh, we tried looking at knife sets, like, cutting knives, but there were just none that we liked that were in, like, a good, like, price range. They were all so expensive or, like, just really really cheap and we're like are they shit um but yes yeah, so we need to look more into that but the basic cutlery set you know done done um 16 piece so four of each of the big spoon the little spoon the knife and the fork and then we need to get a sharp knife as well because you can't cut anything with these and the next thing we got from big w are these what are they called tumbler glasses and these were actually on special for four dollars for a pack of six glasses i was like what um and this they're, they're really nice i probably would have liked them to be like a bit bigger i can't open this um but for four dollars i was not gonna pass it up so eh. so this these are them here like right? they're really good size i think i would like them but just a bit bigger because i drink a lot of water but $4, I just couldn't say no. So I'm really, really happy with that. They were just in like a clearance thing. And I was like, sold. That is all I got from Big W. I only got one thing from Target, but I will show you guys. So this is what I got from Target. It's just a cooking tray. And it came with three. It's a premium heavy gorge, gauge, gorge, nonstick three-piece baking set. Um, so yeah, I just got that. I think this was like eight dollars or something and we looked at the one that came up but this one was cheaper so we decided to go with this one um but yeah like they, they feel sturdy and good and i just thought they you needed them to like put stuff in the oven so yeah that is what i got from target target had some really nice things though like home decor wise people go to kmart and kmart is like still like i love kmart but target had some really nice things like even like quilt sets and pillows and all that kind of stuff so i will definitely be looking at target when i go to like decorate okay so that is it for this haul it wasn't like a super long haul but just like little basic stuff that i picked up i will definitely be picking up more before i move to melbourne so if you guys like these types of videos please give it a thumbs up and let me know that you like them and i will continue doing more of them but yeah that is it for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you on my next one bye